Hundreds of cattle keepers, commonly known as Balalo, who are believed to have come from the central Uganda, parts of DR Congo and Rwanda, have defied the presidential directive and continued to operate in the northern region, nearly two months after the president directed a stop to the vice. The cattle keepers are scattered within different locations in northern region, grazing thousands of longhorned cattle and are mainly seen within the areas of Okidi and Pabo sub-counties in Amuru district, Patiko, Palaro and Owalo sub-counties in Gulu district, as well as Lamo, Kitgum and Padel districts. The herdsmen have been accused of fueling land conflicts, abating security and criminal activities, immoralities, malicious destruction on crops of the native people, causing domestic violence as well as land grabbing. Locals and leaders in those areas say that animals stray in their crop gardens, stamp on their crops and eat them up, and some allege that these herdsmen were sported with guns and are involved in the destruction of forests and its products. The community has raised very serious concerns about how the Balalo are affecting their family life. That is cultural genocide. The Acholi people are very hospitable people. They have welcomed you as brothers, as sisters, as Ugandans. But you've misused their trust. Do not provoke anger from the community. We have had allegations. I have some videos. Mr. Aradis here will give you the videos. Some of you have guns. Me, I have the videos myself. Some of you have guns. It is not a rumor. I have the videos myself. Who is arming these people, Mr. Aradis? We need to know. However, the herdsmen are instead trading blame on their employees, who they accuse of negligence, yet they are natives of those areas. They denied allegations of being nomads, but rather explained that they are an organized group of grazers who should be allowed to operate without interference. Because some bought the land from the community, some are renting. I hope that uh, if somebody uh, got his money paid to you know the local community or the families I think the government should also help that person who because should help that person to recover his money maybe if they decide to send him away because he has already paid his money and is also Ugandan and uh, I'm asking the government to handle this issue with the care because we are all Ugandans um, I hope even every tribe is staying, uh, all tribes stay in different parts of Uganda. So um, if Balala are here, I think if they, those, ones, uh, those ones that have complied with the, the, government, the government orders, I think they should stay. I'm sincerely sorry for some of the mistakes, most especially by our herdsmen, not as the uh, cattle owners who come here as farming investors to fatten and sell because we are not nomads as the president was briefed we are we rent land or we buy land so the mistakes of our cut our, our herdsmen we are sincere sorry people we need to behave so that we team with i informed regional police commander we need community policing sensitization so that first of all the our team mostly our herdsmen or our, our farm managers can first know understand the penal code to know that if they agreed to do cattle keeping they should do that if not they should be charged of uh, negligence of duty before us the owners who have no problem at all the Gulu district leaders headed by the RDC and LC5 chairperson say that they have ordered these herdsmen to vacate the area within four days or be evicted forcefully. There are those who entered here illegally and that one is in the executive order. Two, there are those who have not faced their land. It is equally in the executive order and they don't have the water. Sadly, the Wananchi have categorically told us that they have been suffering. They have been suffering because of the presence of some of the Balalo. Because their animals trample their food crops. Hence bringing food insecurity. 
So I would like to thank His Excellency, the President of this country, General Yoweri Kaguta Museveni, for the strategic guidance he has offered us on the issues of the Balalo. I have now directed them. Today is actually our first step to see that uh, all those Balalos who entered the district illegally must be exited. And I'm happy that uh, the community have been raising their concern to my attention and the meeting has been very fruitful and I have directed as per presidential directive that we are giving these people who entered the district illegally only four days. And those ones who meet the presidential directive's requirements, they are going to remain. While those ones who came illegally without any documentation, we are giving them, we have given them only four days. Sort of that, Division Commander is ready to give us all this to see that we conduct serious operation. I want to thank you, RDC, to make a very good, wonderful decision to come up to here where there is most, most problem.